Thanks for tuning in for the inaugural Our Lads 2024 College Football Poll Introduction. This is our release, very first of uh, many. We're going to be back uh, each week, uh, whether through videos or you can find our content on the rleds.com website, obviously on the Our Lads YouTube channel. Uh, and uh, on the RLEDS Football Network, also the newsletters, which will be available real soon before the season. So uh, this is going to be something that we're going to be really uh, talk about all season throughout the college football 2024 landscape, including the fact, of course, we've got just an awesome uh, playoff system uh, that we're all excited about uh, later on this year. So uh, let's just get it going. Let's uh, release our first RLEDS poll for the 2024 season. And uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about how we put the poll together. All right. So there you go. That's one through 12. And I haven't really spent a lot of time looking at them because this is, uh, we've got eight pollsters and I'm going to let you know who those pollsters are in just uh, a short uh, few seconds, but we've got a point system. We've got the pollsters and our, and so everybody has their own mind and I haven't looked at everybody's myself. Uh, we've been very busy as you can probably imagine taking a look at all the interviews, uh, preseason interviews with college football and NFL insiders. You can check all that out here on the RLADS football YouTube channel. Um, so uh, I just know I put mine together and this is really the first time I'm taking a look at it, 1 through 12. So I'm not surprised about the first three. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you got good old Alabama. Um, uh, you know, Michigan's eight. I'm a Michigan fan, as you could tell. But I don't think they're going to end up in the playoffs. I just don't. Uh, there's Notre Dame, Utah. That is my pick, Utah, to win the Big 12. And it looks like uh, Utah is the top Big 12 team here. Uh, and then you've got Florida State, who's playing – in just a few minutes in Ireland against Georgia Tech, who I believe could very well upset Florida State. Now, I know Florida State's going in that game. A lot of rah rah. We got to show everybody what what happened last year. We got robbed. Well, we'll see. I mean, a lot of those guys are gone. Uh, that's code speak, really, to get the guys going. But Georgia Tech, that's a team to keep an eye on. I'm telling you, that's a nice little upset play today, possible. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, also, Missouri, Drinkwitz done a tremendous job. I'm actually surprised to see Missouri in there. Of course. I've been big on Texas A&M. Mark Lawrence, also big on Texas A&M. We did our college football 2024 season preview. You can find that out on our lads on the channel. So we went through the entire landscape of college football, power five, group of five, gave our top future picks, a whole bunch of other cool uh, futures. So check that out. Next week, we'll do our NFL uh, preview. Okay, so you want to know a little bit about how we did this? Well, let's go ahead and, and go over it. Uh, matter of fact, what I'm going to do first of all is uh, break it down. Let's break it down this way. Okay, so uh, this is uh, so you know, because uh, you don't see the points or anything, how it was tallied. So this is just another way of doing that. Uh, and uh, there you go. So uh, everybody was pretty high on Georgia being uh, the top team. Um, Texas, low consensus, meaning the fact that there might have been a pollster or two that didn't even have Texas in the top 12. But the majority of uh, pollsters had them so high that that's what Texas is for. So that's what that means. High consensus, medium and low. Uh, and then there you go. Same thing there with the bottom uh, seven and eight on this one. And then we're going to move on over to the next one, which is nine through 12. And also the ones receiving the top three receiving votes as far as um, uh, I'll get into that in a second. But again, all low consensus, as you can see. 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15. And what that, again, means is, is that it was all over the place. Uh, and so, which is not surprising once you get down to the bottom end of the, of the polls. So that's how it's going to look. I'm not going to explain this every week. I'm just, this is an opportunity to explain it here in the first show so you know exactly how we do it and how it'll look and, and, and so forth. If you have any questions, comments regarding, you have any suggestions Anything at all? We're going to have a group of five uh, some rankings coming out later this year. We're going to have Heisman rankings coming up later this year. So if you have any suggestions of what you want us to do uh, regarding putting some polls together with our pollsters, let us know. All right. Now, here is the point system. Okay. So everybody just hands in their top 12, obviously. And, 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 and again, keep this in mind. This has nothing to do with the automatic. This is not our prediction for our playoffs because that means we'd have to have a group of five team in there. The only way we'd want a group of five team in there is if we thought they were one of the top 12 teams. So that's the reason why 
Um, you can tell there wasn't any of those uh, group of five teams in. My top group of five team is Boise State, uh, if you want to know. Okay, so there you go. That's the point system. That's how we do it. And then finally, here are the pollsters. Okay, uh, so we've got uh, from our senior scout, John Cooper, uh, to uh, uh, a, a couple of other scouts. I mean, Hayden's in there. We've got our depth chart analyst, uh, Tucker. Uh, we've got handicappers from Playbook. Uh, Mark, of course, uh, Mark Lawrence is the top one. He's the big dog, the founder. Uh, as I mentioned, he was with me to preview the college football season, and he'll be with me every week, every Thursday, live, 4 o'clock on the Orleans Football Network. Again, it was college football uh, on Thursday. It's going to be the NFL season preview this Thursday. And then every Thursday after that, we're going to be uh, combining college football top games, NFL top games. We're going to analyze them, give us give, give picks, go over all sorts of cool futures and props. Don't want to miss that every Thursday with uh, one of the uh, handy, one of the Hall of Fame uh, handicappers in Las Vegas uh, handicapping history, Mark Lawrence. So great to have him part of the network. And Mark has his show on the Playbook Experts YouTube channel. Also, check out playbooksports.com. That is his website. And that's the magazine there, as you can see in the – actually, it might have been cut off there. Here it is. So here is the Playbook magazine from Mark Lawrence. You can pick this up. Uh, you can check out playbooksports.com. You can check out Playbook Experts' YouTube channel. And if you are a uh, handicapper, if you're someone that's really into – Gambling on college football, the NFL, and you want to know what's going on on a weekly basis, the best trends, historical trends, you can't not, double negative, have this, okay? Um, anyway, so other playbook experts that are uh, uh, along with us here, Tony Mejia, Andy Isco, uh, and of course, uh, Dave and I as well, Dave Cyberson and I, part of the poll, so there you go. That's the release of our 2024 college football uh, poll. Uh, still the preseason. Kickoff at 12. What we're going to do is, and by the way, we see Florida State at number 11. Now, Florida State, uh, depending on what they do, I guess, uh, could impact whether or not they go up or down. So we're going to put the poll back again in motion next week. And the goal is going to be, we may not start at this upcoming week, but the goal will be, once we get through into into once we're in this into the season of both the NFL and college football, it'll be on Mondays where we'll release the poll. But next week it might wind up coming a little bit later in the week as well. No rush, no NFL yet, and only one college football game. So that is going to wrap it up here for uh, the schedule. Excuse me for the R Lads uh, poll uh, preseason poll release on the R Lads Football Network. Again, questions, comments, uh, anything, suggestions, let us know. Also, please subscribe here to the channel if you enjoy these videos, if you're going to be following uh, with us all season long. Uh, if you want to follow and uh, watch anything we do here on the channel, including, don't forget, when the season's over, that's when we really get cooking for the 2025 NFL Draft. So don't miss out. Uh, subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you next time.